What's up, everybody? It's another fresh Saturday in Westnal Trending of Benchmark Films, the only place where you find trending interviews of celebrities, business personalities, fashion and movies, both local and international. Westnal Trending. Lubega Rashid Innocent is my name, you're watching West Nile Training. Lubega Rashid aka Maputano is a businessman and um, I, I think when you look at the background, you can easily tell what I do. But I run a boutique and I come from West Nile and I won't say so much. Some things, I, 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 I leave them confidential that I won't say much about that. But I'm a West Niler. That's all I can say about myself. Actually, the genesis of Maktano is a long way thing to talk about. This is not where we started and we've been opening branches, we've been having branches over the years and I think uh, this is a newly opened up place. It should be around two months old. Yep. I've been in the business for the last, um, for the last, should I say, I should be honest a little bit, uh, I, I mean, I should be honest about that. I think I started the business uh, as a little kid. This is something that raised me up. I, I grew up doing this. It's not, the, it's not something that inspired me or it's not something that I have just been into. I think I've been, I've been in this business forever. It's something my mom did and I liked it. It was my passion. I grew up as a kid knowing that uh, I'd love to do fashion and something of that kind. Maktan operates for at least 14 working hours. We open at 8 a.m. in the morning and our closer time at most is 10 p.m. When Maktano started, we, we started with that. We started with, uh, we actually had a unisex uh, boutique, but then as time kept growing, I kept finding challenges in uh, mixing up the products. And I think time has come, I've decided to have to do one at a time. Uh, for now, I think I deal with gen stuffs, and most times, actually a few times, we go for special orders for like kid stuffs and stuff, I mean, and so on and so forth. But uh, generally, um, it's the main, it's the main stuff we do. The ladies, I believe in, um, in a short while's time, I don't know how soon that's gonna be, but uh, then program. Well, speaking about challenges, we have lots of challenges. Um, in the first place, something we've not talked about is I deal in uh, second-hand clothes downtown, and we have we have moments businesses at its peak. We have moments business goes a little down. It's la it's slanty. Um, I think I've been I've been in the game for long, and I understand how I keep the challenges. 
to myself but um uh the biggest challenges we face most most of the times is uh stocking uh the moments we go we go off stock like we 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 we, we, we go we go off stock for quite good period of time based on uh containers the arrivals of containers they take so long sometimes the taxes uh impound on uh the the, the containers so it affects us a lot like apparently as i speak for the last uh, two months i think we've been facing challenges with t-shirts and uh trousers if you look around i think we've gone a little bit down and those are the challenges we face there are quite many but i may not say everything wow that is one thing i love most you see competition is healthy and it's what keeps business going it is actually what keeps us positive without competitions you may not learn you may not know what you're supposed to do at what time and at what angle i think facing competition it has been something that i've i've been doing for the past for the past years i've been in the business and i believe um competition is not a big deal competition actually motivates us and keeps us who we are today Yeah, speaking about that, that gives me a little bit of smile and I will say yeah, I've dealt with a couple of them, actually a number of celebrities, celebrities of so many kinds, the local ones, I don't know if I should mention, if, if, if I should call some of them international or national level, I've dealt with quite many and um i find it a little fun doing uh dealing with some of them i find it a little challenging dealing with some of them but all in all it's business well in the hustle um forgetting about the the borders and forgetting about I, I mean speaking less about the clients we we we, we, we receive all the clients I have um, I would say something I, I would say something funny about uh, the, the foreign the foreign uh, the foreign countries but are bothering us I mean bothering us um, I don't see much clients coming from the the, 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 the countries neighboring us most of the clients I deal with most of the clients I have around are people from within I stock from Arua and I buy stuff from uh, I buy my stock from Kampala I buy stock from Nairobi I buy stock from a number of places wherever I get to know of any good place that has good products is where I always move, it's where I always aid. I, for instance, I've been in Congo, I've been in places, buying stock. If I'm to dress somebody, uh, a celebrity, yeah, internationally, I love to dress, uh, I, would, I would always love to, uh, to dress uh, Shaggy. He's been one guy who's been there over times and who's always made me happy and whatever he does whatever he puts on whatever he wears always makes me happy i think of all time it is saggy and maybe asha raymond but a shaggy would be my number one choice ah Talking about girls, talking about ladies, I don't think it's the thing. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about because I've never experienced that. And people I stay with, the guys I hustle with, I never see them do that. Maybe it's new to me. I'm here to, to understand that from you. From my perception, I believe it's all about one thing. The hustle we put out there. Not really the women, not really other things now at least I have to be honest 
I'm not that kind. I'm not into women. I'm a married man with two kids, and I love my kids like no business. So when we talk about women, when we talk about girls, it's off my limits. I mean, it's off my say. I can't say anything about that. Uh, two favorite artists, just like I said. Um, I think there are a couple of artists I like, but uh, above all, there are those that keep me smiling, keep me, you know, keep me giving the, the, the interest of listening to music, and that is LMB Rugs. LMB Rugs, I think he's been one of my favorite artists from the day I think I I had his first music, I had his first song. I don't remember the name of the song, but uh, ever since then, Back in the days, it's always been one of my lullabies and you know like it keeps me going, I mean, keeps me alive. Well, uh, besides him, I think it's a black harmony that has done something, that has done something I call music, I call, yeah, uh, I call good music, that's what I mean. And we have boxers, we have panties, we have t-shirts, we have quite a number of stuff. Well, um, I think for today that was a little, we would talk about Makutano, the vests, the t-shirts and the caps that are out of stock, apparently we're running out of stock for so many other stuff that uh, in a couple of minutes maybe we may be receiving um, a few that will come I don't know after how long so keep watching Westnail Friend this is just a trial of what Mark Tano has done and in the next five years I believe we'll be bigger and better, more organized and at a better level. That's all I can say about Makutano. Big ups to whoever is watching out there, the uh, West Nile train. Keep it luck. That's it for today on West Nile Trending. Thanks for watching. Let's catch up next Saturday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on all our social media platform and YouTube.